Hi everyone. So I want to talk a little bit about the real mower that I bought for this season. Um, I've had good results with it. It's the Sunjo 24 volt, 15 inch uh, battery powered real mower. And um, I use it this year to sculpt my lawn. And I have another video on how to back lap it. Um, I did 8,000 square feet, uh, multiple cuts. Um, taking it down to just over half an inch, but I wanted to uh, one thing I had noticed is that um, There are times at a half inch where my lawn is not smooth enough that it would scalp and what I noticed was the um, Wheels would be in a rut and then the reel and the bed knife Would scalp a higher part of the lawn. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fabricate a roller for this reel mower and let me just show you what I've got going on here um, this is a mock-up um, I'm just mocking it up with a dowel and um, I've purchased some casters from Harbor Freight and I've drilled them out to 3 8 of an inch to fit over that dowel I've got a piece of steel um, Thread, threaded rod that I'm going to replace this dowel with. I'm using the dowel to just mark the position, uh, the height of the holes that I'm going to drill. And then I'm going to pass that rod through and bolt it um, on each side. But I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. So you can see um, basically what I've done is I've set the um, the wheels ahead of the the reel just a little bit maybe about a quarter of an inch and then I put the wheel towards the edge and I push down make sure there's contact so it's touching the same height as the wheel and then I tried at first um, like a marking pen but it was really hard to do on black so what I've done is I've marked off the um, edges of the dowel and I'll try and get one more piece of tape on the bottom and then I'll be able to determine what that center hole is and I've done that on both sides um, and so that will give me um, the positioning of the rod and then we got an idea of how to fix the rod um, I'll be able to drill through this this is metal and then I'll be able to screw this um, down so anyway um, I'll show you the next step after I get the, dr the holes drilled and the rod um, put through. But what I'm hoping is, is that, you know, situations where maybe your, your lawn is higher than the sidewalk. So what happens is, is this wheel is down low on the sidewalk and then your grass is up higher, the dirt is up higher, and then you scalp the lawn. Well, if I've got wheels here, if I've got this um, pseudo roller situation, that should keep it up off um, the ground. And I don't need, because this is battery powered, I don't need this to drive um, drive the reel because the, the mower will do that. So all I just need to do is just push it forward um, and keep it going. So this is, a, this is just an idea I had uh, working on fabricating it. Um, so. Uh, hopefully it'll work. Worst case scenario is I'll have a couple of holes to plug and I'll have to figure out how to not scalp my lawn another way. But anyway, I'll check in with you on the next step. Alright, so I've got it up on a <laughs> makeshift workbench here, but you can see I've got the holes marked with tape um, and the dowel is, dowel is flexible enough so I can pull this out without moving that center hole and then I can get a 3 8 inch drill bit or actually I'll probably use a small pilot um, pilot and I'll drill the pilot through this side and then I'll drill the the main hole um, after I take off the wheels uh, as you can see there's some there's room and uh, for the wheels to spin 
and I'm hoping hoping this works. Alright, let me get some light in. The next thing I did actually I thought it'd be a good idea to use a punch. So I used a punch to mark the center of that of those holes on each side. So I get a good um, so the drill bit doesn't wander. Anyway, so now I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole just to get through this metal um, and being careful not to drill through um, anything else. So you might be asking like, how did I know where to locate that hole um, from front to back um, and get it the same on both sides? Um, so let me show you what I did. I used, um, basically I used a straight edge and I lined that straight edge up with the center of this rivet that holds, um, this is the axle for the wheel. So I lined it up with the um, center of that. And I laid it flat across this triangle piece here. And then that determined that straight up and down determined about the center of that. But you can locate it anywhere. Actually the back edge, the back edge of the dowel to the back edge of this rivet um, is what I did. And I did that the same on both sides. And then I just laid a piece of tape across that or actually I, I drew a line and then laid a piece of tape, and then I put the dowel in here, and then I adjusted the height and then taped around it to set that center and to make sure that it's as close to um, uh, parallel as possible. So anyway, hope that helps. Um, so I can, I've got the pilots not all the way through, but um, drilled through and I'm gonna take the wheels off both sides now. So removal of the wheels is pretty easy. There's just a circlip uh, right here. And it's a pretty strong one. I couldn't easily get it with a um, screwdriver, so I picked up a set of circlip pliers at Harbor Freight for like four bucks. The first step is you have to um, remove the um, plastic covers, and I have mine already removed and sitting over there. You just pry them off with a screwdriver carefully. Um, but anyway, so then you can go in here and open the circlip up, take that off. And then there's just a washer here. Um, there is grease. Oh, there is grease in here. Um, and on, on the drive side here, there's a plastic cover that we're going to have to remove. So let me uh, take that off and I'll, uh, then I'll uh, get back to you. Okay, so we have the cover off. We've also got the um, the wheel, the gear that drives the reel if the battery dies. Um, and now we just have this metal plate. Um, so I can continue, you can see there's just a little dot. I see a little dot, maybe you can't see it on the, on the screen, but there's a little dot where the pilots come through. Um, so I'm just gonna finish drilling that out and then repeat that on the other side and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so we have the pilot holes drilled through each side. And I've got the other side, the wheel off. You can see there's no belt or drive on this side. It's just driven on the, uh, the other side. Um, and the motor's right here. Anyway, um, okay, so now we're gonna widen that out so I can fit that 3 8 uh, rod through. Okay, so we've got the full-size holes cut and you can see that the rod fits through. And we're gonna have to cut it, obviously cut it to size, but um, there it is. And then the wheels will fit over that. And um, we'll go from there. Good deal. An additional thing I forgot to mention is that you've gotta drill a hole through the, the uh, plate. So I have done that. Um, I think there'll be some room behind there, hopefully, to have a nut, so we don't put the nut up against this um, plastic. Um, but we'll see how that goes. All right. All right, so we've made some good progress. I've got the rod through. I've got this mocked up. I've got the, uh, the other end marked to cut off, so it's flush. 
and that end is good. Got some spacers. I picked those up at Lowe's. Um, three in, three eighths inside diameter. It just keeps the wheels spaced, and it turns out that eight wheels um, seems to space this pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna cut that off, and I got to put another backer nut on here and on this side, so we. Uh, keep it tight without flexing or or flexing or bending this the uh, the frame and um, man we're almost uh, done to try it out see how it goes all right we've got everything installed got the rod through got the spacers got the backing nuts got locking washers and everything set so let's put the wheels back on make sure no rubbing and everything works. Here's a mistake I made. So remember when I drilled this hole to allow the spindle to come through? Well, it's um, shallow enough that there's no need to drill a hole there at all. So um, yeah, forget about that step. I'm gonna find something to seal that up so I don't get debris and dirt back in there um, and try and keep it as clean as possible back there in the drivetrain. So. Good, uh, good tip for those who might want to try this on their own. Right, so that's it. It's all assembled, put back together, and we can try, uh, try it out on the lawn and see how it goes. <laughs> So that's fantastic. I mean, look at look at this. No scalping. See, normally this is higher, and then the wheel would sit low, and then the, the bed knife would just scalp. It's really bad. But um, 
man, it's really, really nice. Half inch, half inch, no problem. No problem at all. No scalping anymore. This is awesome. So, man, let me know if you're interested in this modification. Uh -huh.